When this, what is the definition of a child? I don't know. Okay, some say it's regarding the consensus, like the. Uh, of the country, yeah, the number one. Yeah. Number two is that she hasn't reached the age of puberty. She hasn't been. Uh, Hello and welcome everybody. Today I'm gonna do some replies on the age of Aisha and uh, the marriage uh, of the children in the Islam. Yeah. Commentate on is Ali Dawa and between this guy asking him, but the first question he asked him is, what is the child definition? I think we everybody know the child definition you can uh, google it please if you don't know uh, google the definition of the child and human rights the act of 1989 the convention of the of the right of the child CRC definition as a child any human being below the age of uh, 18 years unless under the law app applicated to the child majority is attended earlier child rights included their right to associate with the both parent human identity as well as the basic need for for he gonna give us the definition of a child in Islam side of menstruation so if a girl at the age of 12 has reached the age of puberty and has started menstruating is she a child or an adult now i don't know by, by who's um there you go it's not you can't say i don't know you know we have uh, law and and acts in uh, with human rights we all agree upon you know you can't just come and make your own definition you know without uh, you know without any consent the consent here is not for one people the consent if the people who make it laws so let's see what you're gonna say go so what we're trying to say is this the legal age in this country is 16 yeah we we respect the law of the land we obey by the law of the land yeah we're not saying nothing to that well 16 i think in condition you can't just bring somebody who have uh, who have uh, just 30 years and go and marry a 16 that's that's that that's called a deception you decepting the guy with something if they are both 16 okay yeah that's not problem because they are both 16 they are both children but here here we're talking about a 50 years and it's just not 50 he can't be more than he can be 70 or 80 or 90 or 100 to marry to a 16 years old that's you making a wrong comparison what we're saying is the legal age in this country is 16. now a girl who has reached the age of puberty at the age of 12 is an adult this does not mean no it's not an adult she is not an adult if she reached as a 12 she still is not an adult when she reach 18 or 16 or what between the she's an adult but she's 16 as we I said with somebody else and her age but she can't have relationship with somebody older than her 20 or 70 years old that okay let's suppose my daughter reaches the age of puberty at 12 that means she is she is menstruating and she's ready to conceive but that does not mean i'm going to say okay darling time to get married no because is she mentally physically sexually ready and also another factor is this so can you show me where in the islam is say this you know i want to know where in the islam show that the women have to be mentally uh, ready the marriage in the islam because this guy is mixing with the marriage and with the act you know with the with the actual sex intercourse and with the marriage and the marriage in the islam when he say an nikah an nikah is a is an act of marriage and can be even a six month old mr dawa not not six years six months you can be and it, it was a norm that time they you give him a, your hand and you tell him when my uh, when my child uh, grow up i get i push it to you and that one was time 
they see the body type you know if she is fit for for entry course they give her to the guy if she not fit they keep her until she get that's why the prophet want to keep to wait let's see and we explain this one with the with the sources and everything but that does not mean i'm gonna say okay darling time to get married no because is she mentally physically sexually ready and also another factor is this the legal age here is 16. What if a girl doesn't menstruate and is not physically uh, sexually ready and she's 16? The law says she's allowed to have sex, but her body says no. So well, if she's want to have sex with somebody in her age, that's her business, you know, that's her business or the parents can advise her, but not with a man like, like we said, Rasul, when he married Aisha, he was 51 between 51 and 54 so there is a big difference here uh, what you're talking about you know you are again out of the subject in with the wrong with the wrong comparison you give wrong imp impressions there is different thing is different let's see but you see islam came not to give it an age i mean not to give it oh 16 in uh, america it's 14. Do you know there's, there's been 207,000 children? Well, yeah, Islam doesn't give it an age, that's why, because we don't have an age. You can marry at any time you want. So, uh, you can marry any girl. Well, I, I'm going to give you a question, and please, any Muslim can answer me this question. What's stopping a pedophile to convert to a Muslim, you know, and married for you know four young girls you no know, no even four children to marry them all together and in the same time what's stopping him tell me you know bring me anything in the fiqh in the hadith in anything in any scholar he have any problem with this thing happen and he divorced him again when they get 16 and he married another one this is the paradise of the pedophilia children being married off in america in america in the United Arab Emirates, the legal age is 18. You go to China and Japan, it's 21. So they're all different. Islam says no. Individually, each... Uh, he mentioned the, the Emirates. I think the Emirates is where the, uh, those people, they are against uh, the, the Prophet way before when, when, this, when this religion you know, started. Right? They just they don't have time to say that in front of people. Don't uh, choose and pick, you know, pick and choose. Let's uh, see what the Islam said in the sources. We don't care about other countries what they do. If Egypt want to implement uh, no, a, a half uh, Islam and half, we don't care about that. The, every country to do what, uh, you know, free to do what they do. But we judge the Islam from what sources, you know, from the narration, from the books, not from the opinion of the, the government. Individual, we don't say 16, and then you have girls who are not reached age of puberty and they're not ready to conceive at 16 and they're going to be allowed to have sex. They're not ready because it could harm them. Do you get it? So that's why Islam has said each individual has to be assessed by a parent. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. Meaning, oh. yeah, by the parent, each individual has to be assessed by the parent. And it uh, mean does the government have no right, you know, to say to the to the father what time you going to get your uh, your uh, daughter married? You know, you can promise somebody to give him your daughter, and you can promise him from the day she born, and the, the government have no say on that. And even the even because the the age of the consent. Uh, and the Islam start at nine. So uh, if she get married before nine, she have no consent to the marriage. She ca she have no. And she if she get divorce, if when she get consent and she get divorce, she gonna scare even to get divorced that time because because it's shame on her and uh, this thing is gonna happen to her. She gonna scare to to even call for that. Okay, she started menstruation. She's ready to conceive, but I would say, look, my child is not ready to get married because I think she's still a bit childish, yeah? So what that means is the only thing I'm trying to prove here is that a girl reaches adulthood when she starts menstruating, right? So my point here is this. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, 1400 years ago, 
his enemies that hated his guts called him everything. They said, you're a magician, you're a poet. Not a single one of them come and said, hold on a second, why are you marrying a little kid for? A little kid for? So the fact that they didn't say that, there's two options. Either that was the norms of the society, or she was not really sick, she was another age. So he came to a conclusion that uh, Either uh, there was a normal society that everybody marry, and it is okay for God to make that okay again. And and the second norm, uh, she is not uh, that age. You know, she is maybe eighteen, like he said. So if you choose the second one, that means you you throw in all a hadith or half your uh, religion in the bin. But if you say there is a norm, so where you wanna go from here? Are you gonna see say it's okay that time to marry young, but now it's not okay? Well, yes, but uh, you are bringing this uh, this thing here in the future. You know, you bring it here. The people still marrying young, so I don't know. I don't see what is the point here. Uh, let's see. First, uh, I have some. Uh, now, here it is said, He said, it is six or, or seven. And he said, it is six or seven. 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 ولم يتزوج صلى الله عليه وسلم بكرا غيرها وكانت عائشه رضي الله عنها تذكر لجبير ابن مطعم بن عدي وتسمى له الله عليه وسلم قد ارى عائشه في المنام في سرقه من حرير متوفي خديجه فقال ان ان يكن هذا من عند الله يمضيه فتزوجها رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم في شوال وابتلى بها في شوال فكانت تحب ان تدخل النساء والى اخره. The meaning of uh, all of this uh, I'm gonna translate some uh, of you there so that you can understand that this guy is just telling uh, his opinion on the Islam but he never read the Sira, he never read the Fiqh, he never understand how Islam works he just uh, picking and choosing in some uh, I don't know what he say uh, let's, uh, the messenger of God, may God be pleased with him, grant him a peace, married her in Mecca. He married her in Mecca in Shawwal. Shawwal is the month, 10 year of the prophethood, 10 year when he started his prophecy, 3 years before the, uh, the immigration, and she was a girl of 6 or 7, between that. And he built with her, I mean his intercourse with her in the Medina, uh, at uh, the head of uh, seventh month of his migration and she is nine years old she was nine years old so uh, Aisha who's speaking here it's not me it's not uh, so you have to listen and the messenger of God may God be pleased with him and grant him peace pass away she was 18 years old when he died she was 18 years old he did not marry another version uh, uh, and uh, Aisha is the one, only version my God be pleased with uh, with her was uh, remembered by Jibril but was was like asked for here where is it Jubair Ibn Matam this guy he it was a norm that time somebody called for somebody like I am um, I have I have a tribe and I have uh, my son of law. I'm gonna call I, somebody, uh, my like my son of law or somebody else of my family have uh, have a child like he is age four, and I give a birth to a girl. So I call him for her or she. He call me for my daughter. So we call, we say this woman for that man when they grow up they get married. This was the norm. Like this was the norm. No other ways around. Uh, because the, these people when uh, tell me the Arab that time was like normal to to get uh, the the kids married. Yes, they used to get them married by acts, by by papers, by 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 like agreement until they get like uh, like like get the puberty or the uh, or the the father see it's fit for her to go then he sent her to him that was the norm but muhammad wanna change this one and he wanna put it at a, a specific age to the to the do, to the uh, girl to be have intercourse
you know the, he they want to put it as like a specific age but the fuqaha didn't agree all in that in, i think one faqih who's agree in one specific age of nine to have intercourse but the most fuqaha say is depend if if she is fit or not fit and we're gonna see that in uh, in the fatwa but we're gonna finish the the translation here she was uh, she was already act you know she was already remember or asked for by uh, al jubair ibn mat'am ibn uday to samma lahu wa kana rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam araha fil manam the messenger then saw her in the by jibril come to him and he show her his picture and when uh, when khadija die is in a, uh, some uh, silk or uh, harir they call harir like clothes remember by jibril ibn al uh, mufti yeah we said this one god break peace with him upon him and uh, he seen aisha in the dream in a rug of silk who die uh, khadija die. when khadija die she was with the uh, silk of uh, rug and he see aisha wearing the uh, the uh, rug uh, silk thing and uh, so he said this is from god then he the messenger of god my god please with him grant him a peace married her in shawwal so when he see this dream he asked uh, if this is from god i accept it is if not from god god gonna show me is not so he accepted and he go and he asked for her hand from her father um, Umar uh, Abi, Abi Bakr from Abi Bakr. I asked her hand from Abi Bakr. Then, then, then Abi Bakr have to go to another guy and tell him sorry that the Prophet asked for my daughter. So we gonna uh, finish our agreement. That's what happened. It's not what this guy wanna tell us happened. Let listen to him to finish the argument. <laughs> That's the only conclusion. Do you get it? Because if we see something wrong in today's society, we will speak out against it, right? If we do not speak out against it, that means as a society, we do not think that is wrong. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So that's why in the Quran and the Hadith, the Prophet's tradition, Islam doesn't give it an age. Meaning, each individual has to be assessed to protect her for her well-being. I know your point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how in the Quran, Let's bring this guy Quran so there's no one gonna tell us uh, meaning here Al-Hulum the guy when he reached uh, puberty he's an adult you know that's the age of uh, but the Islam does not uh, give the age exactly but he doesn't say that he think like Islam doesn't give the age so we can uh, make a law and make uh, only 19 can get married no the Islam doesn't give the age because you can uh, you can marry a lower age as low as uh, six you know you six seven you can marry them six months you can marry them by uh, by paper and then when they get uh, nine nine years they are allowed to to have to send them to their to the, to send them to the husband uh where is tafsir surat al-talaq surat al-talaq verse four واللائي يئسن من المحيض من نسائكم ان ارتبتم فعدتهن ثلاثه اشهر the woman that you are not they don't have the menstruation period they are counted when they get divorced three months and, and those who don't not have yet menstruation so if you go to any tafsir any tafsir it's gonna tell you اللائي يئسن من المحيض واللائي لم يحضن اولى الاحمال واللائي لم يحضن اي الصغار those who not menstruate mean the young اللائي لم يأتين الحيض بعد those who don't have the blood period yet والبالغات التي لم يتن الحيض بالكليلة and who have problem in the, 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 the old who have problem it's clear in every tafsir and uh, if we go to Ibn Kathir 
واللائي لم يحضن وكذلك كما ذلت الآية كذلك الصغار as well as the young لائي لم يبنو نسن الحيض young that have not reached the time of period so uh, let's go to another tafsir Al-Qurtubi uh, Al-Qurtubi we see this one no, uh, Al-Qurtubi where he say واللائي لم يحد الصغيرة uh, the young فعدتهن ثلاثة أشهر mean the young that ha, have same period waiting three months when she divorced because here they talking about divorce no we don't talking about married the Quran not talking about married what time you go into married the Quran talking about divorce young can be divorced meaning the young can be married the, she have to be married to get divorced and tafsir uh, tafsir at tabari is same as well so I don't know why this guy talking about uh, Oh, time here to look for a uh, specific uh, explanation um, to this one they don't reach the menstruation period and they are already have sex so see here what they say they don't reach the mahid and they are ready already do sex then they get divorced that's what the quran talking about do not tell me the quran telling you they don't give you uh, age for married because this and that is our idda to hunna thalata to ashur three months let's see what's he gonna bring again yeah yeah, 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 yeah. So, so the point here is this, and even there's a video going around that apparently I was saying, oh, uh, I will let a 40 year old man marry my nine year old daughter. I never said not such a thing. All I'm saying is, in the in, uh, in the Sunnah, you can't. Uh, I understand you. You can't stop somebody giving his uh, daughter to somebody. You know that's that's the problem. It's not about uh, it's not about uh, you or somebody else wanted to do to. I maybe I don't like it to do it. Maybe maybe somebody else is pedophile and he want to do it. You know how we should suppose we should suppose to leave them do so. I don't know what you're talking about. In the Quran and the Sunnah, Islam has come to protect the well-being of a girl. You cannot force her to marry. No, you can't force her. Let me let him finish. Without her consent. Do you get know what I'm trying to say? No, no, that's just so wrong. You, you, you giving them a wrong impression about Islam. Let's see. This guy is so liar. He don't know nothing about about Islam. Here, no, yeah, ibn Qudama. He said, "Let me bring you the uh, the fossil when he talking about الصغيرة معتبر بحالها واحتمالها. لذلك قال القاضي وذكر أنهن يختلفن." He said the chapter the possibility of intercourse with a young woman is considered in her condition and a tolerance of it in her condition and her tolerance so if she can like uh, if she she she's able for it you know وكبيرة فقد تكون صغيرة السن تصلح وكبيرة لا تصلح وحده أحمد وحده أحمد he's only أحمد إمام أحمد بتسع سنين وحده أحمد he put it uh, and mentioned that the the fair you know and uh, let's say intercourse with a young woman is considered in her condition and tolerance to it that is why the judge Ahmed uh, Al-Qadi is a name of uh, a scholar said said it said same thing and uh, mentioned that uh, they differ they are different as they may be young suitable and old or not and old not suitable they may be young suitable for uh, for uh, the intercourse and they may be uh, like old one but they are not suitable they're talking about old but the age like uh, nine years is uh, old for them ahmed limited ahmed imam ahmed uh, imam only imam ahmed who limited the age uh, to nine 
So only one school has said the nine. There is no uh, up more than nine, you know, because uh, we can see the law here have 18, some have 16, but there is no above nine. We don't have above nine. Only Ahmed who say who limited the age to nine. So he said in the the narration of Abdul Harit Abdul Harit for the small child that her husband asked for her. So if she already married, that's they talking about. They already married. For example, they marry her six six months or no problem. So when she reached nine, and the the, the husband asked her for her husband asked her if she was nine. Uh, let's bring here. So if, uh, people who understand the Arabic, they can read with me. So they're not gonna tell me you guys. I'm uh, I'm just adding stuff in my head. This is Al Maghni Kitab Al Maghni Abdullah Ibn Qudama. If you guys don't know Abdullah Ibn Qudama, go look and see who is this guy. Two nine years, limited to the age to nine. So Ahmed limited the age to the ni to nine. So he said in the narration of Abdullah Abdul Harith for the small child that her husband asked for her, uh, if she was nine years, she had to go to him. And her family, they have not, they don't have to stop her after nine. Her family have not to stop her after nine to go to him. He concluded from the narrated hadith by Aisha that the Prophet uh, ha had intercourse with her uh, when she was nine. So that uh, the girl of nine is able to enjoy her, and you able to sleep with the six uh, or nine years old. So when she is not suitable for the intercourse, her family does not have the, to deliver her to him. So basically here, they say at the age of nine, you have to send your child if you already agree to the act uh, at nine. Uh, only Ahmed, that, but that's the re that's only Ahmed. The other are dif differ. They can't be a six-year-old and fit for six, and already going to her family going to see her, as we see in Pakistan and in Afghanistan, some place they do that. Ra, they don't do that on uh, them head. This that is قول العلماء, and the the majority of them. The majority of uh, three of them, they say, they say you can, uh, the age is not have uh, limited, but only Ahmed said at nine. So let's keep that on consideration and we listen to this guy. He did not wait three years, then would have been like, okay, I started my uh, menses at nine. The question that we're asking is this, that's why Islam came for all, all time, because the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, married her at six and waited for her to be an adult and menstruate to consummate. If, if he did not wait three years, they would have been like, okay, she wasn't ready and the Prophet just raped her. Why did he wait three years? This is really important. Yeah, this is very important. Why he waited three years? Why he couldn't wait another five or six years to be 18? So if he is a prophet and claim to know the future and now our uh, moral going to change why he didn't wait until why he even going to marry her you know how many wives the prophet have Mr. Dawa I think you don't know how many wives let's see one book here And Tazawajaham Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam The one who married them and didn't have intercourse with them Look how many 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 11 12 We get more 12, 13, 14, 16, 17 Go, go, go Yeah The ذكر من خطبهم رسول الله صلى الله عليه من النساء ولم يتفق تزوجهم. The, the one who's go make khitba and, be, and nobody think maybe they marry them and maybe not. They don't uh, agree if they are married them or not. How many of them? One, two, three, four, five, six. You know, Hani bint Abi Talib, even bint Abi Talib, Daba bint Amir. I think he shag all women of Quraysh. And you telling me? 
ذكر أو يعني ذكر سرايا رسول الله look how many look how many جوينيه look how many this is the slave how many slave girls he have you know وعنده خجل وزينة بنت الخزيمية وريحانة بنت وقد بنت تسع والمذكورة and this one this is this is insane you comparing a wrong you know a wrong comparison here so my uh, my uh, my answer is very uh, very simple why he should wait he should, he waited because he have in the list way too much people you know to deal to get to the Aisha you know it's not one or two and even when he is this say he married the uh, Zama Zama uh, the, the old lady you know the I think marry her the same time as he married Aisha he doesn't sleep with her he doesn't sleep with her he uh, make an agreement with her to give her day to Aisha so she gonna keep her otherwise he going to divorce her uh, but uh, I don't think you read the, I don't think you read the Sira or you read the, uh, anything you remember a little bit and Islam and you keep repeating it and repeat again same lies no mate you watch his videos but you don't know he doesn't understand Islam. How you can watch this guy videos and understand Islam? I don't understand how you can watch it. Uh, the Islam is not uh, in somebody's head. Islam is in the books. And these people, they are just lying to you because they have no power to put this law down there. So they're not going to tell you. If we or somebody else doesn't come and tell you this is exist, you don't know. So I come to tell you this is exist. And you go watch him and you understand from him how. What even, even he even he didn't give any narrated hadith or any tafsir to his uh, explanation, you know. You want to be a scholar? Well, if uh, if uh, ISIS get in the power, they're gonna took your head first, uh, Mr. Dawa. So, so going around, that apparently I was saying, oh, I will let a 40 year old man marry my nine year old. In the Quran and the Sunnah, Islam has come to protect the well being of the girl. You cannot force her to marry without her consent. No, we see that and we see that again. You can't force a woman to marry out of her will. So you have to get the, get this book and read it and get this book as well yeah, get this book and read what here and read what your scholars say before you making claim so don't make claim that you have no basis uh, no basis on you know you don't have any basis on your claim you can marry the as I say before as I say before and I repeat it again and I wish somebody to correct me you know I wish somebody at the age of nine at the age of nine you know have no consent below nine you have no consent the the the, the husband no the husband the, the father can get his daughter married to anyone with an act without any enforcement <coughs> sorry without nobody get involved but as soon as the girl reach nine then other other people can get involved like the mother and the son of law then they can so for example a girl her father die yeah this is what exception going to use this exception he went to build in as a like a proof of uh, of that islam he is nine that's no in nine if a girl her father die and somebody else in charge of her and she want to get married she can't get married that time yes because the her and the guy who is con who in co who in taking care of her he cannot get her married until she get nine then he can get her married but but he is but and her consent because the child when he uh, pre bring nine they be to be consent and the consent like not like he said here to consent her silence her consent is a her silence if she get silence if she they ask her about the married and she doesn't say nothing this is her consent 
I think I have had it uh, about down. Let's see which one. Yeah, sin ashari. Yeah, le uh, le sin le sa le sin the lady yet a zoo was a fee he'll mark a had done been nisbatily a beer been nisbatily a beer for for her father the age of the limit uh, no the married women have no limit that's Ibn al Baz if you guys know it about this guy talking uh, from them head the bring uh, some uh, really when I watch videos I thought these people where they learn this Islam or to her father it have no limit abuha lahu an yuzawwijaha wa in kana saghira her father ha, he have a right to get her married even if she, she's young kama zawwaja as-siddiq Aisha bint 6 sinin aw 7 sinin as as uh, for the you know, like as for like the Sadiq who get Aisha married to the Prophet as when she was seven or six. Idara a maslaha, idara a something he going to get something out of it. Idara a maslaha fi dalik. If he sees something good for him in this married, he will go to to the married even she is uh, six years old. Idara a no, six months, even if it's six months. Sagira, they don't have an age for married. The age of uh, uh, intercourse, yes, we 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 have some uh, concession about the nine years or when she get ready. Uh, he going to benefit. If he say the guy is rich and he going to benefit of, of the marriage وَلَا يَنْبَغِي أَنْ يُؤَجَّلْ and he doesn't be, be to be like تأجيل uh, uh, make it after you have to be now بَلْ يَغْتَنِمْ فَلَا بَأْسْ no problem he can do it وَالْأَبُ يَنْتَدِرُ فِي مَصَالِحِ أَوْلَادِهِ وَالْأَبُ يَنْدَرُ فِي مَصَالِحِ أَوْلَادِهِ the father who look after his children not the government not the human right laws nothing that so I don't know why this guy read Islam. أما أولياء الآخرون فليس لهم أن يزوجها إلا بعد بلوغها سنا تكون أهلا للاستئذان. And he said, and other people who have no rights, you know, have no, they don't, it's not her father, أولياء, but just, just looking after her, they have no right, you know, to get her married until she get the the demonstration age or nine year nine year as a, an, as one faqih said ahmed and the rest is uh, depend because they have to ask her you know because when she over nine she have to be asked أما الأب فله أن يزوجها بغيرها بإذنها إذا كانت دون تسع سنين and for the father yeah he have the right to get her married with her permission if she was nine years old. اقتداء بما فعله الصديق عليه السلام قالوا هذا يدل على أن البنت لو كانت صغيرة يزوجها أبوها خاصة بغير إذنها. This say is this this say this say all فقه say this حديث يدل this meaning that the girl if she is young, her father get her married, خاصه بغير إذنها, especially without her permission, without her بغير. Um, I think if you بغير إذنها, without her permission, ولو كانت غير أهل للإذن, even if she was غير أهل للإذن, if you young, كبنت خمس أو أربع ها, هي بالخمس. Five or four. If he see مصلحة if he see مصلحة في ذلك مصلحة is something he gonna give. Actually, money, هاي مال مصلحة كم بنتي ما تسوى الصديقة عائشة وكذا because the prophet married عائشة for the prophet. You know, for he have something to to give him back. He he promised him خلافة. He have to give him something back. He's not married like you think like. Oh, the Prophet love Aisha. Aisha love him. How she gonna love him? She was six years old. Well, I think if you going to tell me that uh, 
that the evolution work work fast as soon as Islam began evolution start working fast that's your uh, trans uh, you know trans <laughs> explanation to the science the the evolution works slowly and in many many years in not 1100 years the women going to get uh, uh, no they, that time they were strong now they are weak so what do you think now after uh, after another 1000 years so so what do you think going to happen the woman going to get uh, in 40 years 50 years i don't know Muslims, we will not marry somebody if they're not ready. But you would marry a nine-year-old. No, see, you missed the point. No, 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 I, I no, 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 you missed the point. I've come here to listen. One I'm second. And a, a woman who has reached the age of uh, puberty at nine back then, today that age might be sixteen. So what do we go? What's the? So, so how did you reach that conclusion? You know. <laughs> Okay, let's fix. Principle. Look, what's the principle? She has to be mentally, sexually, physically ready. So, did Aisha was physically, mentally ready to get married at six years, or even to get uh, intercourse at nine? Neither of them, neither of them, she wasn't married, because if we go to the hadith. Uh, we see how Aisha, this prophet who asked her for the married. So the question, Mr. Uh, Mr. Dawa is, if is Aisha was ready, Bukhari said, حدثنا فروة بن المغراء حدثنا بن مسهر عن هشام بن عروة عن أبيه عن عائشة قالت تزوجني النبي وأنا بنت ست married me when I am six. Yes, Sinin, Fakadamna al Madina, Fanazarna Benil Harris ibn Hazrat. And we come to the city and we stay in the Harris ibn Hazrat. Fawaiktu Fatamazaka Shari, and I fell down and my hair, you know, like a break or something like this. Wafadat waftu li Hajamima. Wakad wafat li. Jamima Fatatni Ummi and her mother came to her Umrman, her name Umrman, where Inni Lafi 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 or Juha Lafi or Juha. She was playing in the swinger where Inni Lafi or Juha. She was playing. Where is the consent, Mr. Ali Dawa? Where Inni Lafi or Juha? Where may Isa Wahibuli her friend play with her? Fasarahat Fasarahat. She shouted, No, she called me. You know, we have uh, an Arabic, when you read, don't start, because these people don't understand even Arabic. She's not said to her, she sarakhat, she shouted, فَسَرَخَتْ bi. She shouted at me, فَأَتَيْتُهَا مَا أَدْرِي مَا تُرِيدُ مِنِّي she, we, I don't know what she wants from me. She doesn't know what she wants. You understand? فأخذت فأخذت بيدي حتى أوقفتني على الباب. And she took my hand until she put me front of the door. وإني لا أنهج. I am breathing heavily. وإني لا أنهج حتى سكن بعض نفسي until I reach some peace in my soul. ثم اتخذت شيئا من ماء فمست به في وجهي ورأسي and she took some water and put it in my face and my head ثم أدخلتني الدار she like she cleaned her and she and she put her inside the house قالت قال فإذا نسوة من الأنصار في البيت فقلنا على الخير والبركة there was some Women inside the house, they say Alal Khair Wal Baraka, you know, Islamic term, like it's good, good, married, da, da, wa ala khair ta'ir, as beautiful bird, she, because she was a young, beautiful bird, yeah, fa aslamatni ilayhunna, fa aslahna bishakni, and she make up for me, make things for me, fa lam yaru'ni, yaru'ni, so yaru'ni, he scare me, he scare her. Where is the consent here, Mr. Ali Dawa? فَلَمْ يَرُعْنِي إِلَّا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ دُحَى She said, nobody scared me that day, even فَصَرَخَتْ She said, فَصَرَخَتْ 
but this one it was norm her mother shouted at her or her you know mother and sister or law something so to her is normal she doesn't scare because she knows she shouts at her but she, nothing happened but when she see the prophet فَوَرَعَنِي you know فَلَمْ يَرُعْنِي يعني she, she's scared when she see him إِلَّا رَسُولُ اللَّهِ دُحًا فَأَسْلَمَ فأسلمني yeah, أسلمني أسلمني both of them she both of them give me two إليه وأنا يومئذ بنت تس and that day she's nine so she stopped here you know and she doesn't tell you what happened after but you know رأد فقها دي نو gonna narrate you the hadith or so we gonna conclude يعني you have no right you know you have no right to say you know that Aisha was consent because she doesn't say she was asked for consent so do not make a claim that uh, Aisha said something or that people said something out there we have a consent or we don't have consent in the Islam what are you talking about have you read the hadith in Arabic have you even know understand Arabic okay let's continue And there should not there's a harm factor when we use this principle back then it makes sense yeah uh, muhammad in the desert doesn't know the principle you're talking about you're talking about principle this principle we are invented now because we are more advanced and but you're talking about principle that time there is no principle three makes sense when i want to marry somebody for example if the daughter if the father comes and says my daughter likes you okay how was your daughter? She's 16. Okay. Is she mentally ready? Is she sexually ready? Is she physically ready? And there's a harm factor element. Is she? Oh, no, she's not. Sorry. Islamically, I can't marry your daughter. Well, for example, Do you get it? No, that's, that's the wrong uh, thing. I, mean, <laughs> the, I, I keep asking. I know I, if somebody going to answer this my question, I don't know if somebody going to watch this video. <laughs> Just tell me one simple answer to this question. Is there an any anything going to stop me from marrying four nine years old and sleep with them until they get 18 and divorce them and marry another four and married another four and if you was rich and keep just marry and divorce as I say Ali who married the as much as he wanna he keep marrying and divorce and when he die he have 19 uh, slave girls and have four wives so i don't know what this guy talking about why you have to get her married uh, at at nine or at even 15 or at even 18 you know what's your business in her getting married let her cho choose if you don't want to get married it's her business these people don't want to get it do you get it? I agree with your, uh, no. that's, that's your conclusion, but... We don't get it. I don't know, it's just... None of that, for example, is said in... I don't know, I haven't read all of the Quran, so I yeah. don't know. None of that is said in the Quran. Uh, no, the no, the people don't read the Quran because... <laughs> Because the the all they differ on the Quran, but this thing they don't differ. But even if you read the Quran, you're not gonna read it as they gonna read it. You know, everybody going to read it for me, but the Quran have to be explained by al atar Al Quran la yufassaru illa bil atar The Quran does not uh, be explained by your no but your imagination the quran explained by al-atar by the hadith we go to the hadith and we see the hadith if we understand the hadith proper well in easy language go 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 okay go if we don't understand hadith proper we go to tafsir hadith then we if we don't have hadith we go to tabi'i tabi'i a sahabi or even a sahabi who see the prophet and even a sahabi have a very weird definition of sahabi even if you see him when he die from far away you are a sahabi you count as a sahabi so yeah and we have to take with this people word you know that's islam you can't just make your own tafsir what we go by is so when we if say if that was perhaps then yeah. bob wouldn't have his leg to stand Shall I tell you something if you brought bob yeah, if the Prophet came in front of him, Bob will say, 
Look, if someone doesn't want to believe, they won't believe. But I'm here, he's not here to learn. That's why I don't want to speak to him. You, I know you're not here for an agenda. You're here I to... I'm here for an agenda. Everyone has an agenda, but I'm you don't want to the truth. truth. Good. But when, when I'm an agenda, he's not here for the truth. Jesus says, seek the truth and the truth will set you free. Bob and his little team over there, that lady screaming there, yeah? Okay, they come here every week, you know what for? Just to attack Islam. I swear to God, I have not seen them come here once and speak to a Hindu or speak to a... It gives more, uh, what the word? Sexist, thank you, that's why you need help. Sexist, it's homophobic. So the question you're asking is, why did nobody complain 20 years ago? Because fam, back then, it was no problem. But now society has changed so much, that within 20 years, they're complaining to Netflix. It's homophobic, this is sexist. You see how society is changing. That's why we go by the law of God. Because if you look at Nazi Germany, in Nazi Germany, if you was there... So, you said, that's why we go off the law of the God. But so the law of God tell us we can marry the girl, we can ask, uh, a girl uh, six months old from her father and we can make an act and a city waiting for her and uh, depend which uh, madhab you follow for example if you madhab Ahmed Hanafi Ahmed you can uh, wait until nine years and you get intercourse with her but if you another madhab you probably go to wait six months six years probably seven it depending if she is fat or she is uh, skinny and she have uh, like they have hadith on Aisha when she was skinny and they give to give her they give her everything but she never get fat I think when hadith she say when she give him the tamar the dots and uh, some uh, some uh, food some bread like this she was to eat it and she, then she get a fat little bit fat she, they was hurrying her to get fat quickly so they can give her to the prophet it's not like that so so which one we're gonna take uh, we're gonna leave the human right act which tell you about 18 years and we have some exception in the exception in the some countries or if the both of them was uh, young and they have to marry or we go to the the, the god uh, like you said the god <laughs> <laughs> rule and we married uh, like uh, six months we just act on them put them the seat is for you and when soon she get nine years old so we put her in a delivery box and send her to her husband really for the marriage uh, but uh, sorry but when she grow up when she don't like him uh, she can't get a divorce for him because he can marry four so he can marry one two three four five six seven eight you know it's not like four but they say four but he is actually nine because the prophet was already married nine because what is mathna wa thulata wa rubaa he doesn't say tazawaju wahidatan wa itnani wa thalata wa arbaa no he said mathna twice twice and third third and four four mathna wa thulata wa rubaa that means if you said mathna is two thulat is three rubaa is four it's nine this one is just changed lately, I think, in the time of uh, of uh, of after Abbasi time, they changed this law, but there was nine, they was to marry nine, nine uh, women. So let's see what he finished the argument. Killing Jews was okay, because that was a societal norm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Keep us killing the Jews was uh, the norms. The the German killed the Jews, but we don't. Uh, the only Muslim who uh, was still now, you know, uh, happy about killing the Jews. Only Muslims. Nobody, nobody agreed to kill anybody. That wasn't norm, my friend. What are you talking about? Did we left them? Did the, the West left uh, uh, the German or uh, or Hitler to kill the Jews? No, we fight them. You kill us, we fight you. you kill somebody else, we fight you. What are you talking about? That wasn't the norm. We think uh, Morocco, even in, in Morocco, long before the Jews was living there. We think we used to take. Uh, if we see a Jews, we kill them. What are you talking? about my friend let's see so that's why what we say is we, we follow objective morality we do not follow a law that now they, they, they the but this guy mix objective morality with the law of god you know i don't know <laughs> there is only one objective morality the objective morality what people agree upon that's all you know <laughs> do whatever you know do whatever you like to do but don't the way you want to oppose a law on other people you know you want to oppose laws on other people you know that's what morality if you co talking about yourself you're doing something oh this is immoral you know you, you have to go objective morality but you you claim to have uh, 
difference, you know, more than us. You bring them from from somebody named Allah who is coming down here as a Shab Amrad, a young boy. I'm not gonna pray for a young boy God, you know, like uh, Muhammad. Oh, well, what I know what he was thinking about when he see Allah as a young boy and hukum al amrad as well you can't you know allow al amrad like a woman you can't even see him it's haram to look him <laughs> you have to do hijab as well at the amrad in, in, in denmark or its country they want um um incest they're trying to legalize incest what's your problem for legalizing incest <laughs> uh, Denmark or Do you see where it's going? Next is going to be animals. Uh, that's why they go into De Denmark, you know. That's why the immigration now to all to Denmark who want to change what they want to do. So one guy marrying a piano? Do you get what I'm trying to say? What's your problem with marrying a piano? Because the marriage is an act. If somebody want to make a paper that he married a piano, <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know that? There's one guy. He married yeah, Marian piano. This means the piano have no harm. You gonna have no harm, but a forty, uh, fifty-one year old marrying a nine years old is a problem. Even you guy who laughing, you know, you have to know is a big, uh, you know, comparison. Yeah, I don't know what kind of communication they're gonna have yet, yeah? <laughs> but the, the problem here is this: yeah. what kind of communication that uh, nine years old gonna have with uh, with uh, fifty-one years? I'm guessing. I will guess him. What kind of you know? What kind of communication? Well, you guess. Society is going on a mad one. Next. Yeah, he was going a mad one before. It's the same thing, but we're trying to make it better. But by making you. <laughs> mad marrying a flipping dog, flipping. El yeah, flipping. Elephant. yeah. The, the question is, society norms are changing. We're saying we stop. So we, stop. we wanted to change it by force, by al jihad. Yeah. To the laws of God, yeah. The laws of God, yeah. The Sharia laws. So you know, you know, because they have jihad at talab, you can uh, put the law. If a city, even I'm not Muslim, and they making the law, she call a Muslim country. But if a Muslim country doesn't apply the Sharia law, she's a Kafir country. So the the main problem in those people have to apply the Sharia law. It doesn't matter if the people get converted like Islam or not. You know, it doesn't matter if you like Islam or don't like it. The the main thing the Sharia law have to be applied. That's all. That's all the main thing. You have to pay. And those who don't uh, follow, they have to pay jizya. As soon as you pay jizya. Yeah, you pay jizya and you are second class citizen and you follow his sharia law you allow to have your own religion but your own religion but not all religion yeah but you have to choose between uh, judaism or uh, uh, yeah, judaism or uh, christianism or uh, sometimes buddhism as well get measures get involved with it so that's why they want this thank you guys for watching and see you in another video the best ability, of course.